Hello there, I'm the Monster Blitz coming to you on live from theater mode, bringing you some gameplay on the map uh, launch, bringing you some crossbow game. I'm just kidding, I saw the crossbow with sticks and stones. Silly me. Well, now that we started off awkward, that we might as well go on with some awkward stories that you probably already heard before. But if you did, then you're probably just going to sit here and go away from my channel. I'm gonna cry. I'm just kidding. You probably actually haven't heard these stories, because I've never told you. I don't even know you. Do I know you? Oh, I do know you. Never mind. I'm going to just jump into the stories, because I've wasted enough time talking. Um, I just went to the city this week, and... Oh, hold on. I went to the city this week, and we stopped at a toll booth, and it reminded me of this time where my friend... My friends, well, we were driving to a mall, because, you know, I like hanging out at the mall. I'm just kidding. We were going to the mall and buying some closings. But, um, they, we parked too far away. We, we pulled too, we were too far away from the toll booth. I just stuttered. And, uh, our driver, the driver had to get out. She had to get out, and she had to actually take the ticket from, yeah, it was too far away, so she had to get out. It was funny. But then it started raining. In the city, this is a different story. It started raining in the city, and the streets were wicked smelly. It was disgusting. One time, my mom gave me a watermelon and told me to put it in the downstairs fridge, but there was no room in the fridge, so I decided to be a dumb dumb and put it in the freezer, which didn't work out well because it's not good. You can't eat watermelon when it's frozen. Well, you can, but it's just, she didn't want it frozen. It was just, she said it was disgusting. And I'm going to teach you how to be super tryhard, which is my expertise in the Call of Duty Black Ops. One, if you get killed by a sniper rifle, rage quit. Two, if you get killed by a camper, rage quit. Three, if you get killed by a high kill streak, rage quit. Four, if you don't get a high, if you don't get your high kill streak, rage quit. Five, I don't even know what number I'm on actually, so I'm kind of guessing here. Five. Be use an assault rifle. No matter what the circumstances, you will always win. Six, camp. Seven, use ghost. Eight, use high kill streaks. Now I've been trying to make a a voiceover recording for this, and it just hasn't been working. This is my fourth take of going on and ranting about stories that you you you're probably not laughing at, but I hope you are, cause that'd be cool. Cause then I can say yeah. People really laugh at my stuff. Um, SM Duncan is selling t-shirts, which are pretty cool. I just thought I'd say that because I really don't have anything else to say. Oh, I died. My first violent game, because I've learned my lesson about talking about this without t saying it's violent. Because it's not actually a first-person shooter like I said it was. Because it's actually a third-person shooter. But you can make it a first-person shooter, but that's just, that's just uh, too confusing to talk about. But it was uh, Star Wars, and it was with Dash Mang, and we we used to play on his Xbox. He hasn't he had an original original Xbox. I had a PS2, but you know whatever. That that was my first gun game stuff, and I was in. We used to tease each other, and whenever one would die, we'd be like, "Oh, did the Padawan lose? Oh, shit face!" And that was, that was it. Was a fun game. We had a lot of fun. We actually sometimes go back and play it now, but you know whatever. Uh, when my pool, when my pool got thrown in shoes, no, when my shoes got thrown into my into the pool, um, it was at, like a little family reunion, but we're not actually like family. We're like really tight, like our families are really tight, but you know how that is. And th there was like some little cousins there, and they decided, hey, wouldn't it be great if we just took some random kid's shoes and threw them into the pool? So they took my 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 nice shoes, and good thing I wasn't wearing my new shoes then, because that would have been bad, and I would have cried. And they threw them into the pool, and they were wet, and I th had to throw them out. And you know how some chapstick have, like, SPF 30 or whatever on them? Well, I decided that one day I was going to put that on my face. Because my mom's like, Eric, make sure you put some sunscreen on. And I was just like, yeah, mom, whatever. So I went, I went and I found the chapstick, and then I was like, okay, well, it says SPF 30, so I'm going to put it on. And then I put it on, and that was a mistake, and then she was, she wasn't too happy about that. And so that's why you shouldn't put chapstick on your face, cause it, it doesn't work that well. And since the Fourth of July just happened, I'd like to talk about the time that my sister decided she was gonna, she was gonna, not listen to my parents and, 
it was funny because she, you know how you can crack, like, when you crack your glow stick, it makes noise, and, like, it does that thing, it's, and then she's, and my parents told her if she cracked it too much, it would explode, and then she's like, no, it won't, so then she cr accidentally cracked it open, and she's like, it's burning me, it's burning me, but you know what, it actually doesn't really burn, but, you know, she didn't know that, so, whatever. <laughs> it was funny because she was young and now she's my older sister and I tease her for that all the time and the only and uh, the last thing is kind of like the only reason I play multiplayer now is so I can play with my friends so me and Craig have decided that we're going to make a gameplay for you guys a zombies gameplay and we're going to do maybe something with Dash Man when we run around and we just try to cap as many flags as possible on a domination gameplay and uh these were some weird hopefully funny true stories from the third dimension if they weren't from the third dimension that'd be really weird so thank you and have a nice day